Hello everyone, my name is Luigi Pengera. I'm a photographer and sometimes filmmaker. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the metadata of your photos. Now, let's say you went on a holiday and on your vacation you took a lot of photos and when you come back you did the Photoshop thing, you did all your edits and you went to the trouble of renaming all your photos in your Windows OS so you can find it more easily easier in uh, Windows Explorer or Adobe Adobe Bridge. Say if you want to upload your photos on Facebook to share with your family and friends what you find is that Facebook when it creates a new album it doesn't take the information which is the title that you specified into account and what you find is that Facebook generates no name, no caption underneath your photos and it's pretty irritating because you went to the trouble of renaming all your photos to something much more uh, something that's easier to rec more, more recognizable well there is a way to get away around this and it's by editing our metadata of our photos so I'm gonna choose this photo right here I took this in Barcelona and I wish to upload it to Facebook so I'm going to left click it to select it, I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to go to properties and we come up with this dialog it's got a few tabs here and basically the ones that most concern us is general in details so this little box here it's got the name of the file which I renamed it um, less than five minutes ago went to the painstaking detail of going to Google Maps and finding exactly where this was and renaming the file and to rename file you simply can press F2 on the keyboard or right click and go to rename so what I want to do is I want to select this box I'm gonna double click to select a word in this box and we'll go control A and it's gonna select everything every text in this box and this is a good file because this is a long 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 name for it look at that so once again we click on the box to select it double click on a word control A it selects it and we go to control C or right click and copy so we're just copying the title of this uh, photo file this JPEG uh, which we renamed earlier and we must go to details and we go to we get this little window here under description we go to title and we just hover over the value section the value column and it should come up with this add a title box we click it once it will give us a flashing cursor which means it's selected and we go to control V or right click and paste and it should, if we click out of it, like that, it should paste the name that we uh, renamed our file to earlier. This is also the part where we can see a lot of very other things. We can change the author here under origin and we can set it to our name. And we can also go to the copyright box here and I'm just doing the same thing I'm just going hovering over the value tab and I'm clicking this box it will only show up unless you hover over it and you click on it and for copyright I'm also going to put the exact same name my name Luigi Pingaro on the copyright box we should, um, also um, Photoshop and other image editing software and our camera also stores metadata as well automatically when you take a photo so you can see what camera I've used, a Canon at 600D, it's got f-stop, it's got exposure time, focal length, it's got all sorts of information which the camera when you're taking the photo already burns into the metadata. Okay, but the most important thing we want is the title to be the exact same text as in the general name of the title. We hit OK. We've just finished renaming um, the title box in the metadata of a bunch of photos that we've taken on a on our imaginary holiday and we want to share with our friends on Facebook so we go to Facebook and we go to create an album 
and let's select the photo that we edited the metadata for selfie Anthony Gaudi we double click it and now Facebook is doing its business it's uploading the photo it's creating our album and as we can see if we scroll down as Facebook uploads the photo the title that we specified in the metadata of our original JPEG photo file Facebook is taking that information from that metadata and made it into a caption for Facebook photo albums so all our friends and family will be able to read that they will know that we went and saw the gingerbread cathedral in Parkwell Barcelona Spain you don't have to download any third-party programs on the internet all you have to do is edit the metadata in your JPEG photo files to whatever you named it in uh, the original name of the file itself I'm gonna and just quickly I'm gonna show you how to edit uh, metadata fields for multiple photos so we're just gonna left click it and let's shift click a bunch of photos none will do we go to any random photo we right click we go to properties and we go to details and it's got title multiple values subject multiple values and if we want to set the author and copyright we can do that for all our multiple files so I've selected nine files and I've changed just the copyright and the author and once I hit apply and it's gonna do its business apply do its business okay we will find if we go into the properties of these files individually we find in the details tab that the author and the copyright is the same for each files all the files that we selected we have the same values that we specified pretty cool so it's a less painstaking way of making captions for Facebook albums uh, the photos within Facebook albums okay um, I hope this tutorial has been useful to you and I hope I've explained myself uh, correctly and if it has been useful to you please share this video with your friends on Facebook <laughs> or Twitter or other social media networks and let's help each other out because sharing is caring thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time